Happy Halloween, Paul Argueta here. This is a Halloween edition training. It's gonna be a quick five minute training and I'm gonna be covering with you the top five things that you don't need to become a successful entrepreneur. Thanks for visiting our channel. If you haven't figured it out by now, yes, it's Halloween and I am dressed up as uh, Deadpool. Uh, and yes, this is a Morphe bodysuit, so I got good news for you. You can't see below the waist down, courtesy of this camera. Uh, I did wear this costume to my son's first grade Halloween parade uh, this morning and I got some interesting looks walking to the car and I got some interesting looks uh, around the parade and I am wearing this currently in the office uh, NSFW. It is, well, I, I guess that can be argued, right? So anyway, um, most of our content on our channel is going to be real estate related because I am a 20 plus year veteran of the industry, but uh, over the last four or five years, I did uh, become pretty proficient in digital marketing, search engine optimization, and social media marketing. So I will be covering a lot of content about that as well. And my brokerage that I own with my partner is now about to hit the 10 year mark very shortly. We're excited about that. So I do know a few things or two about entrepreneurship. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, but in addition to that, click on the bell right next to the subscribe button so that you can get alerts every time I upload new content related to any one of those industries and every once in a while I'll throw in a cool video about me and my family or uh, or my dog so today's training should be relatively quick it shouldn't last more than five minutes and I'm gonna be covering with you the top five things that you do not need to be a successful entrepreneur you don't need a lot of working capital or good credit to start your business so there have been countless examples of wildly successful entrepreneurs and business owners that have started their business out of their kitchen table or out of their garage, okay? You don't have to have money to start a business. Now, does it make it easier? Yes, absolutely. But the reality is, what is going to make it even easier is for you to develop the ability to sell and promote whatever that product or service is, okay? You're gonna have to be resourceful, you're gonna have to be creative, and you're gonna have to have some grit. So if you don't have working capital and you don't have good credit, then what you are going to need is a cell phone, your mouth, and a website. You're going to have to go out and become the biggest product ambassador or service ambassador of whatever business it is that you're going to start. So you need to start talking to people, you need to go out and start promoting it, and yes, does that mean that everyone is going to respond positively or favorably to whatever product or service it is that you're bringing to market? No, probably not. But if you talk to enough people and you develop those skills to sell, then I'll tell you what, eventually that product or that service is going to make it to market. Number two, you don't have to be first to market. Now, I don't know if you know it or not, but Microsoft had tablet computers out, you know, over a decade ago. It was not the first type of tablet computer that came to market. Then Apple came out with the iPad and really crushed whatever dream that Microsoft had at that time. Now, years later, Microsoft does have the uh, Microsoft Surface. I enjoy that product. I use both the iPad and I use the Surface. But my point is, Apple wasn't first to market uh, the tablet type of computer. Microsoft was. Facebook was not the first social uh, networking site, right? We all know about Friendster, we all know about MySpace. You don't have to be the first to market in order to succeed, but you better come up with a good product and it has to improve upon the products of old. So don't think that just because you make it to market first, you're going to be successful. You don't need to be. But what you need to do is you need to find a product that might already be out there and find a way to improve upon that product or that service so that you can be successful at it. You don't need perfect timing to be a successful entrepreneur. Now let me clarify what I just said. There are those of you that are going to consider starting a business or an entrepreneurial venture and you're waiting for the economic climate to be right, you're waiting for the stars to be aligned, you're waiting for the capital to be there, you're waiting for your mood to kick in, and you're waiting for all of these things to combine so that they could create the right time for you to start that business. And it's never going to happen, 
okay? It will never be the right time for you to do something great. It will never be the perfect climate for you to start your own entrepreneurial endeavor. I'm going to say that again. It will never be the right time for you to start your entrepreneurial endeavor. What is more important is for you to get started. You can't wait for everything to be right. It's never going to happen. And while you're pursuing this entrepreneurial endeavor, whatever it might be, there will always be things that are going to change. So what is more important is for you to get started and to be adaptable and flexible to a changing environment. That is more important than you sitting and waiting for all the right conditions to be met. Number four, you don't need all the right contacts in order to be a successful entrepreneur. So, like having working capital and like having good credit, does having the right contacts make it easier? Absolutely, we all know this, but that doesn't mean that you can't be successful because you don't know the right people, okay? That, my friends, is another excuse that the wannabe entrepreneurs use so that they don't get started. Yes, you may not have the right contacts, but start anyway. Start whatever endeavor it is that you want to start. Start it today, start it now. You will eventually develop the contacts along the way. And again, just like timing, if you're waiting for those right contacts to come into your life, then you'll never start the business. Start the business, start networking, go and start talking to people, start, start asking for, for people to be your mentor, start going to organizations, start going to conferences. Will it take time? Will you have to invest money? Yes, that is all a part of it, but don't let the excuse of not having the right contacts prevent you from actually getting that, uh, that endeavor started. Oh, I'm sorry, I was just checking to see if I look different when I suck in my gut. We made it to number five. I am impressed that you've been able to get this far into the video and still take me seriously with the way that I'm dressed. Now, number five, experience. You do not have to have experience in the endeavor that you want in order to be successful. Does it make it easier? Of course it makes it easier, we all know this, but that doesn't mean that because you don't have experience, you can't succeed. I would highly suggest, however, that you find a mentor. And going back to contacts, that you find people that have experience in that industry, in that profession, in that service, so that you can learn from them. But people love making excuses. And so they will say, well, I really don't have any experience in that profession. I really don't have any experience in that service-related industry. And so because I don't have experience, I'm not gonna get started. Again. That's an excuse. Stop making excuses. Stop feeding yourself excuses about why you can't start something. Go out there, start learning, start taking courses, start watching videos on YouTube, start uh, listening to books on Audible, start really, really uh, becoming obsessed with getting information about the industry or the profession or the service that you want to pursue that entrepreneurial endeavor in. And once you do that, you will start to see that eventually you will start gr learning. And my greatest lessons came from experiences that resulted from me trying different things in, in whatever entrepreneurial endeavor it was that I was pursuing and screwing up. You're going to make some mistakes. It's going to happen, it's par for the course, Accept that you have to be bad before you can be good. And if you think that this is going to be a cakewalk, and if you think that it's just gonna be smooth sailing, then you're feeding yourself a bunch of malarkey. It's not going to be easy. You're gonna have to learn that profession. You're gonna have to learn that service. You're gonna have to learn new skills that you haven't learned before. But you might as well embrace it and just understand that that's a part of the process. There is nothing that you can't learn when you invest the time and the resources to learn it. So don't tell me that just because you don't have the experience in something, you can't pursue that endeavor. I appreciate you sitting through this entire training. And I appreciate the fact that you were able to take me serious while wearing this costume. I hope that you have a wonderful Halloween. Enjoy it with your families, make some memories, 
take lots of pictures. Make sure that you comment below. If there's anything that you'd like to, to, to have a conversation or a dialogue about, I encourage you to do that. I monitor those comments. I will respond to those comments. I look forward to hearing about your success and, and, and I look forward to being inspired by you. So make sure that you participate in that. Don't forget to subscribe.